Imagine you open up a newspaper. I'm sure many of you have read about newspapers on the internet. <laughs> and you see these stories. A bailout executive gets $20 million severance. Steroid user gets $200 million salary. Kim Kardashian exists. <laughs> and I think that the iPhone has done a better job than any product out there in building this cult, getting people to buy the same products every nine months. And now it's, it's omnipresent. Everybody has iPhones. My nephew has an iPhone. He's five. My grandma has an iPhone. She doesn't have real hips. Even lost tribes in the jungle, you find them and they're texting LOL. Look out, lion. It's amazing. And <laughs> These student loan companies know how expensive college is, so they give kids hundreds of thousands of dollars. Right? And then the minute they graduate, they call them, they send them texts and emails and letters. They make sure they pay them back. Student loan companies track kids to the ends of the earth. You cannot hide from a student loan company. You cannot run from a student loan company. They will find you no matter where you go. I swear, if Osama bin Laden had a student loan, yeah, we would have found him September 12th. So you'd think, like, with all that, that mobile would be the holy grail for advertisers, all they've ever wanted. But it's not happening, right? There's no targeted mobile advertising, partly because the operators and the advertisers can't get together. You know, advertisers, they think, oh, you know, mobile is, doesn't have the reach, and it's not a proven media. Not a proven media? You know what else wasn't a proven media? Radio. <laughs> Television. Talking. <laughs> I mean, we all know there's no I in team. There's also no we in rich. <laughs> Please don't interrupt me with your laughter. I'm sorry. Very I apologize. Again, I think that I'm just mimicking the crowd. I